is I'm a Bohemian Organerable and on here we talk about faith, family and food. Today we're going to be talking about a game changer way we can actually resolve conflicts in our homes and in our families. Before we go on to the topic of today, have you subscribed to my channel? Please kindly subscribe to my channel as this is going to be a form of encouragement to me and it's going to help me to continue to keep pushing this channel and also kindly share my videos uh, i know there are a lot of people in the world today that would need to listen to these things to be blessed so kindly share my videos and comment make your comments in the comment section and like my videos thank you i'll see you. yes so it's important for us to know that no two individuals are the same and because no two individuals are the same definitely their perspective is going to be a little bit different from each other even when they are identical twins talk more of when we have two individuals from two different families coming together to make a beautiful home and a beautiful family definitely there'll be a little bit of um clashes here and there but how can we best resolve this conflict in our homes without affecting or without breaking each other that's what we're going to be talking about today if you're interested please don't go anywhere okay so the first thing that we need to realize is that we need to be active listeners the bible says that we should be quick to listen in james chapter 1 verse 9 the bible made us to understand that we should be quick to listen and slow to speak it's important for us to realize that being quick to listen means to effectively or actively listen to the other person's perspective what the person thinks about the situation when we do that, when we show an active listening skill to the other person, it helps them to better explain how they feel and what they see or what they think about the situation that is causing the conflict. The second game changer move we need to apply in our homes is effective communication. What's effective communication? Effective communication is expressing one's needs and feelings or emotions assertively that means we should be able to express how we feel concerning the issues or the reason for the conflict without accusing or without being negative to the other person so you use words like i feel this way i don't understand you enough i think i need some time to think about this instead of you are confusing me you don't understand what i'm saying you you you're always intruding with what i'm talking about okay so when you are using the i it's more assertive and it helps people understand your feelings and emotions better it's important for us that we don't come out aggressive when we are trying to handle conflict situations and it does it shouldn't be that when we are communicating we're trying to criticize the other person and when we are doing this we should remember to always be calm always have a calm aura a calm mood so that the communication will be much more effective it's important for us to realize that these people that we're having communication we're having conflicts with are our loved ones and we are not doing this to show who is better or who is who is lesser we're only trying to do this to understand ourselves better so that we have a better environment to live in together next thing we need to do is cool off period the bible says in ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 that we should not allow our anger to cause us to sin and what does that mean what that means me is that whenever we are in a conflict situation definitely there will be anger or there will be an aggressive emotion going on at that point in time it's important for us to step back a little bit step back take a breather take a breath you can go for a walk you can 
you can revisit the situation another time where your head is more clearer okay when we're able to do this this will help us to better resolve issues with a calmer mind the next game changer move we need to apply is compromise and negotiation yes definitely no two individuals are the same and there are times yes whether we love these people or not there are times where our views are totally off they are totally different from each other but what can help us in those moments are when we have um negotiations when we come to a common ground even when we when we come to a compromise or when we come to a common ground we see that okay yes this is my view and that's my view yeah but we can meet at this particular point just so that peace will reign and the environment will be more saner for both of us to live in so it's important that we sometimes apply compromise and negotiation when we are going through conflict next game changer move we can actually make is seeking help from the outside it's important in nigeria we need to we we have actually tried we've gone we've come a long way but we can still do better it's kind of like a cultural thing that when a couple is is fighting they don't really want to bring it out there they don't want to seek help they believe they can handle the issue themselves but the truth is that there are some issues that would be better handled when there is a third party involved okay so it's important that we seek out help from our pastors we could go to our pastors for help we go to our mentors we go to we could go to those people that we are both accountable to. I remember in the video when I talked that where we, I and my husband talked about courtship, um, I made this point that it's important for us to have a common, uh, someone that we both are commonly accountable to. So you can actually meet those kind of people to express how you feel in order for them to better resolve your conflict. This does not mean you are throwing your dirty linen outside. It only means that you love this person and you're seeking to work it out. You could also meet therapists and some trained counselors. These people can help you better. And thank God we have a lot of Christian counselors coming up and springing forth. So you have all the resources you need to resolve your conflicts. Thank you. So the, the final one, the final game changer move we need to apply to resolving conflicts in our homes is forgiveness and reconciliation. Now, this is very important because it was even exemplified when we talk about the relationship we have with God. You know, God already forgave us. That was God already forgave us before we came into him. Okay. The Bible says that he forgave us and it is the only way we believe that we come into his fold. We believe in the work he has already done. So forgiveness is important. As children of God, it's important for you to even forgive for future. Okay. So that there will be nothing that will cause a total breakdown in your home it's important for us to learn that act of forgiveness if you're struggling with the act of forgiveness it's important for you to pray we, you can pray about it you can study the word of god about and um, topically on um, forgiveness and pray that the spirit of the lord will help your heart to be able to forgive forgive your spouse forgive your children irrespective of what they will do or are doing or have, have done. Okay, it's important that we apply these things. I believe that if we're able to apply these things together and even individually, we will have a better home. Our homes will be a home where conflicts are easily resolved and our home to be a loving home. Thank you very much for watching. If you know you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please kindly subscribe to my channel as it's a source of encouragement to me. Until I come your way next time, bye.